My name is Melissa, and I am 47 years old, and this is my beautiful daughter, Kate. And I'm 18 years old. My mom is so bold. She is one of the, she is the strongest person that I know. Um, and this is shown in the way that she always is there for me and my three younger brothers. When she was going through her journey with breast cancer, this was an insanely hard time, not just in her life, but in the lives of me and my brothers as well. And no matter what she went through, she was always there for us, always supporting us, talking us through it, even when it was probably very difficult for her to do so. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, at the start of a global pandemic, which was challenging and difficult, but I had an amazing support system behind me. I had an amazing bold, bright, beautiful, resilient daughter who took over when I wasn't able to and taught me more lessons than breast cancer did. Kate was, was, was 13 at the time and I think she was just going through her own transformation and her own start of becoming the great woman she has become. Kate stepped, stepped boldly. She took over responsibilities that were inherently mine. She had no problem stepping into the role of, of not only big sister, but, but caregiver and, and mother, friend, and, and all the roles that you don't necessarily assign to a 13-year-old. She, she stepped in, she took charge, she took control in a kind, uh, caring way. Throughout any moment in our lives that have been challenging, whether it was her diagnosis with cancer or anything else, she has always, always been there to, to listen to me, to try to understand me and to find solutions to my problems. And that's something that I've learned and passed on to my brothers as well. So I see that and I try to mirror that in my life and in how I take care of those around me. Throughout her diagnosis, even though she was probably going through so much more, she would never stop listening to me and caring for me and helping me out. And that's sort of just what I use to strengthen myself. <laughs>